Carl Hamilton with CecilDaily.com. I'm at the Cecil County Circuit Courthouse in Elkton. Earlier this morning, 41-year-old James Claude Winters received a 55-year prison term for murdering his wife, 39-year-old Marshall Adams, inside their Cherry Hill apartment on Easter Sunday, 2011. Winters stabbed Adams 70 times. Administrative Judge B. Michael Whalen imposed a sentence on Winters after he pleaded guilty to first-degree murder, which contains the element of premeditation. With me is Assistant State's Attorney Mary Burnell. And Mary, I was just hoping you could tell me a little bit about what went into this binding plea agreement. Um, well, Carl, it's very difficult to um, fashion an appropriate sentence in a case like this. Um, because, um, Mr. Halter, Michael Halter, who is the lead prosecutor in this matter, um, we spoke a lot with the family in trying to come up with what's an appropriate sentence to offer um, to the defendant. And no matter what sentence um, he accepts, it's never going to bring her back, so it never makes this better for her. But we take a lot of things into consideration, the possibility of parole in this type of case, as well as if we do a life suspend all but a certain term of years, he actually is in no longer than if um, we would just simply say life in prison. Um, because oddly enough, that's interpreted as less time than the 55 that was binding. And that was the, the reason. Um, and again, a lot of things go into to making that decision, um, least of which is certainly not the family. They had a lot of input here in determining um, what they would be satisfied with terms of how long Mr. Winter should be in jail. Right, so obviously you had an open communication throughout with the family. We did. Mr. Halter and I met with the family many, many times throughout this process. Okay. And it was life all suspended with 55. I think Judge Wayland said it's natural life all suspended with 55. He will be in there for, my understanding, at least 27 and a half years before he even has a shot at a parole hearing. Which that doesn't mean he's going to get out, it just means his first shot is 27 and a half years from now. Correct. Okay, and historically, what happens when parole boards hear cases involving convicted murderers? Historically, the Parole Commission has never recommended that someone be paroled early, um, nor has the governor signed that release. Okay, Mary, thank you very much. You take care.